The comments are working this time. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to hide this ugly cord in the background. Let me know if you guys, um, if you could, let me know um, that you know that we're live and everything is good. Now you see us. Yes, now I can see. Oh my gosh. That was frustrating. Um, that's okay. We'll delete the other other one. It was weird. I saw there were eight people in the beginning and then no comments. We're on the YouTubes. Yay. Hi, Mark. Thanks for bearing with me, you guys, and thanks for coming back. Yay, Lars. Woohoo. Success. I powered down my phone and um, reconnected to uh, quicker Wi-Fi. I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but we're back and ready to rock and roll. So... I was inspired to do this because I'm always curious to know what is in other people's travel bags, um, their toiletry bags in particular, because I don't know about you, but I am just one of those people that loves little things, little containers and little compartments, and I am the biggest um, OCD person, patient, um, that ever existed, so the container store is like Disneyland for me. Super Faux, hello, Tracy, hi, hi again. Thanks for coming back, you guys. Um, so let's get right to it, shall we? Hi, Ayed. Thanks, you guys, so much for being here. Um, by the way, if you want tips on travel and want to explore the Pacific Northwest with me this month, feel free and give me a subscribe if you want. Um, feel free and like the things, too, that helps, I heard. Uh, Mark, hello, thank you for the butterflies and the coffee. I could use some of that. Why, hello, David. Uh, we know what's in the bag. Yes, I know you guys are awesome for following me over here. Um, for some of you, this is a repeat. Um, for those of you who are new, uh, welcome to my channel. And let's get started. Some of the things that I have, first of all, I want to show you this bag because I think it's amazing. Um, this is super duper flat but it holds everything um this is made by ebags and i'm going to go ahead and leave a link down in the description so that you can purchase this bag if you want but what i love my ocd brain loves about this bag is it lays on top of all of your stuff and then this is like the kind of case where you can you can squeeze every last piece of room and then like sit on your suitcase and this will actually go. I'm missing some comments. Someone said hello to Tracy. Hi, David. Periscope was asking where so I didn't get to see. Oh, okay, perfect. So this is new for you then. Awesome. Wonder if, if there's a bra, if there's a bra thing. <laughs> yeah, some of you already saw there's some, some personal item and items in here as well. But um, let's get started. So once again, um, it's made by eBags. Uh, there's waterproof material in one of the pockets, which I love because let's face it, things burst when you're in flight and pressure and um, there are just things that leak. So if that happens, then it's just that much easier to clean. Sondam needs one to fly in. Um, so the first thing I want to show you is I always have a plastic bag handy inside this because you never know when TSA is going to be like um, remove all the liquids and, and put them in a bag separate from your things that can happen um, so it's just at the ready um, did I still need oh yeah as a mod let's see if I can do that from my phone add moderator sweet all right thank you um, and I will go ahead and make David a moderator if you would like um, Let's see, Juan, finally easier to type on here. I mean, Juan, I'm making you a moderator as well. Um, where did Alexis go? Um, Alexis, you're a moder moderator as well. Anyone else who wants to help out with that, we, we could have used the help last week for sure. Um, when you say toiletries, I think, oh my God, I'm squishing the toilet paper in that bag. <laughs> Am I brace for the gasp part at the end? <laughs> you guys. Yay, yes, okay, so thank you to my mods. Um, even even though if, if if you don't want to be a mod and I just made you one, um, let me know. Uh, I'll moderate. Okay, Bill, I'm happy to add you as a moderator as well. Perfect. Thanks, you guys. All right, we're ready for this one. We're ready for this one this week. Goodness gracious. Um, okay, so here's what we have. So we talked about the bag. Um, I've got hair gel. This is... Um, you know, the typical size that TSA recommends, I think it's, um, it's under, it has to be under 
um, three ounces. Yes, I won't get insulted if you don't make me one. Mark, you can be one. Didn't I make you one? Here. Add moderator. Yeah, you're a moderator. Um, use your superpowers for good, though, you guys. Okay. Um, body lotion. Super teeny tiny. I, um, I don't know. I, I like little, little tiny amounts of, um, lotion. I have another big thing that I'll usually buy, um, that has SPF. And that's another, here's another lotion. So another tip that I have is whenever you're staying, um, in a hotel, take the things. They're yours. And you actually paid for them already. They are all wrapped into the, um, the room charge, um, so, as a matter of fact, you can also ask for additional ones. It never hurts to ask. The worst that could happen is they say no. Um, and if they say yes, you, you end up with free stuff. And when you're on a budget like I am, that comes in handy. So, always ask um, for the extra shampoos and conditioners and lotions. Superpowers. Pew, pew. Should we spoil it for the YouTube people? You can if you want. Um, same goes for this. This is um, conditioner. So, also another hotel thing that I scored. Um, this is makeup remover. This is my favorite kind and it actually is a smaller version of this. This I love. It's Bioderma. It's um, French. Um, but it's um, it's for sensitive eyes and when you have allergy issues like I do you need something like this and I buy it in bulk because I use a lot of it. Hi in Houston. Welcome to my channel. Additional to toiletries. No charge. No charge, RD. With great powers comes great abuse, but hopefully great responsibility, too. I trust my mods. So far. So far, so good. Uh, Matthew, I'll make you a mod, too. Add moderator. How many can you have, I wonder? Anyway, so there's that. Um, and then trusty shampoo and conditioner. Same thing. Um, some of these kits that you buy, you know, at the local drugstore come with little labels. I don't know if you can see them. Yeah, you can shampoo and conditioner so you can label them. Um, so there's that. Oops. This I randomly put in there. It's a sugar scrub. It strips the dead skin off of your lips and makes them nice and silky smooth. So there's that. So, oh, and then face facial cleanser. A uh, little teeny tiny. I like to, to use Murad products. Um, Alexis, you're mod sweet. Yay! Everything is so cute and small. Yeah! Oh, you get like a little wrench by your name. That's kind of cool. Um, bird, remind me what your name, it, your username is over on Periscope. Do we know each other? Um, if you stick around long enough and we develop that kind of, um, that kind of trust, I'd be more than happy to make you a mod. Trust me, I need the help. Um, all right, so face, and then here's this. All right, so that's that carmen. Next, we have a little itty bitty loofah. This is called a loofah. Some people call it a pom pom. I learned. Sure thing. Thanks, Bird. Bird, what's your first name? Um, Birdman. Oh, give me adrenaline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, wait, wait, wait. That's right. Thank you. You get to be too. <laughs> It'd be funny, like all the viewers in here are mods. <laughs> um, oh, hi, Tim. Okay. That's that. That's that. that. Um, and then band-aids. How do you spell loofah? I think it's L-O-U-F-A. Um, Lars, did I make... Lars, would you like to be one too? Um, yes, so band-aids. Very, very good and handy for when you're in a sticky situation where, I don't know. So my example is I have this thing where I will, um, I'll pick at my cuticles and sometimes it's to the point where they'll, they're actually bleeding a lot. So these actually come in handy. You don't periscope, no big, oh, no problem. No, just, but stick around here on, uh, on YouTube. Um, and the more you join my live streams, um, and the more we build that relationship, um, I'd be happy to make you a mod. I'll just watch. Okay, thanks, Lars. Um, I think it's a lupa. Ever considered any type of water purification? Um, interesting. In a survival situation, you mean like iodine, um, tablets? Absolutely. Um, Bert, no worries. Open mod. Jason, you're a mod. Oh, I made you a mod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. Yay! I was like, I saw the wrench already and I didn't remember. Open mod. Yeah, there's like... 10 mods in here. It's a different, I didn't get my lashes back, no. Nope, it's a it's a makeup trick though. Today is my first makeup day. I took three days off um, and my face actually feels so much better. Um, Jocelyn, I take iodine when I travel. Yeah, so you guys, I'm actually, um, I'm 
producing a survivalist style vlog. Um, it's going to be forest survival. It takes a lot more, there's a lot involved, so there's a lot more planning that I have to do. Um, but stay tuned for that. That's going to be interesting because I'm going to use my um, training that I got in the military. I went through a week course of survival school um, at Fairchild Air Force Base in uh, Spokane, Washington. Fights Alexis with ranch, zoom, zoom, pow, pow with ranch. <laughs> nice. Listening while I work. Oh, okay, cool. Glad that you can do that. Square band-aids are useful for skinned knees. Thanks, Mark. Um, look at all the wrenches in here. All the wrenches. I love you wrenches. Can I just say, it's nice to have you here. I'm glad we're learning the things. Um, moving forward, so the clippy clip, this is great for um, either holding cords together so that they're not messy, um, or if you have long hair and want to tie it back, obviously that's what it's used for, um, or if you're doing your makeup like me just tie part of it back so that's what that's for multi multi-purpose guys I'm her Juan and only good in light her Juan <laughs> there's only Juan Juan almost as much oh blue text here as Steph's shirt <laughs> yes yay two in one all right so I like using the um, toothbrush just that I get um, for free from the dentist as my travel toothbrush because I own a Sonicare but I don't want to bring it because it's heavy it's bulky um, and I don't want to risk damaging it when I'm traveling. So I replace this every six months, um, as you should. Uh, and then always, always have some sort of cover and protection because when you're traveling especially, there's a lot of bacteria that likes to bind to anything of yours that is moist or wet. Some people don't like the word moist. I don't understand that. Um, if you're offended, I, I'm not apologizing. It's a word in the dictionary, but always have something and you can get these at your local drugstore. Um, they're like, I don't, you could even get these at the dollar store or clean my, my teenies teeth, scrub my toilet with the free dentist. Brush. I think of the aha music with all those wrenches. <laughs> yeah. Can you throw out hearts on here also? No, you can't. But thank you for the sentiment. I appreciate it. Everybody's like, from Periscope is like, <laughs> I see what you did there. Yeah. Oh, so, tennis shoes. Oh, yeah. They're great for tennis shoes too. But I like to use them for when I'm traveling. So, anyway, make sure it's always protected. Even when you're, like, keeping this in the bathroom in the hotel, have this on because having a toothbrush in the bathroom is is bad um, unless it's covered because there's bacteria that floats around you guys can we tap hearts on here no TB you cannot I mean you can pretend if you want this is a brand new razor that I just bought it's by it's a new one by intuition it's called fab and what I love about intuition razors is the fact that you don't have to pack shave gel or shaving cream um, all you do is the stuff is already built into the um, razor itself, so you don't need to bring an extra thing. You just get one of these. Um, I like to carry my own bar of soap in a box. Yeah, that's a, another great tip. Um, speaking of razors, this is something that I find extremely useful. Um, this is what you think it's used for. It is a face razor. So this helps with like angles, like if I'm getting hairs between here um, and I wanna trim or shape up my eyebrows. Um, I like to use this because sometimes my face gets like peach fuzz and I just like having a baby smooth face um, and this is how I achieve that. So yes, I do shave my face, um, but it's not really like, I don't go against, I always go with the the growth the the direction of the growth Alexis did you have your skittles tonight no tooth gate is when she had something in her teeth <laughs> hey isn't that clever a little toe yeah um so I mean for those of us who need a little bit of extra grooming um sometimes this could be used in nostrils or ears or whatever I like the angle it allows you to just kind of you know, access areas that you need to that you otherwise can't with something like this. Um, it was a salad conspiracy, <laughs> yes. 
I know I feel like we're missing our friend here in this one. Super hearts, RD, thank you. Okay, moving forward. Obviously, toothpaste, another great drugstore purchase. Um, Gemma's here, hi Gemma. I only take the, the nice bathrobes from expensive hotels. Yeah, don't do that, don't, don't. Um, Tracy's here, hi Tracy. All right, floss. I don't think I showed this in the last one. Did I? I remember holding it in my hand and communicating and it didn't end up getting talked about, I think. <laughs> ADD. Um, yeah, so that also was a freebie from the dentist. You know, they give you a goodie bag. Use it. Use it for your travel stuff. Was watching from another account but didn't realize you couldn't see me in my bed. Oh, oh, Gemma. Oh, okay. Um, who tipped off the trolls? Where are they? Shh. We're doing great so far. I have so many moths. I'm gonna make Gemma one too. Everybody gets to be a mod. All right, add mod. Gemma, you're a moderator. What did I just do? Oh, there we go. Um, how's your night going, Gemma? No, you didn't, they will, they will charge you. Yeah, they will charge you if you walk out with the bathroom, just saying, but they will not charge you because you already bought the, um, the shampoo, the conditioner, the lotion, anything that they have for you in the bathroom is yours to take. And even if you don't use it during your trip, I highly recommend just taking it um, because it's free and it's yours. And ask for extras. It cannot hurt. The worst they could say is no. Um, she, could she could demonstrate dental floss. Oh, I see you guys. I see you. I got my eyes on Trolls Block. Yes, good job, you guys. I love that you guys are so ready this time. It makes me feel so good about broadcasting over here because I got to a point where I was just like, I love broadcasting on YouTube. It's so chill. There's no trolls. And then it all went to hell in a hand basket last week, didn't it? Um, thank you. Not one, not one on Perry. I don't think, but I got you on here. Awesome. Thanks, Gemma. Um, fine. I'll send them back by UPS. Okay. Moving forward. Um, these are, these are for the ladies, obviously, um, these now come in travel size. Feminine products are, um, definitely something you don't want to be without when you are traveling, even if you don't start your cycle before, you should have it because you never know. And they're also useful for other things, like nosebleeds, I mean, not that you'd want to sit there. Anyway, moving forward, I feel like saying, halt, who goes there? <laughs> you can say whatever, whatever it takes. Um, just let's, yeah, as long as it allows this space to remain positive, I trust you. Um, take the reception desk if you could. <sighs> Cotton candy, get the reception desk. Cotton candy sticks, yes. This is, yes, yes. Okay, so there's that. So yeah, I, I like, because usually, um, they don't come in the travel sizes, so that's, that's good. This is another freebie from the hotel that I took. It came in a pack of five, but you can get, obviously you can get um, more sturdy packaging uh, if you buy them yourselves. Q-tips makes a travel size. I think it's about this big and it comes with about 20 in there, um, but I love Q-tips. I think I love Q-tips a little too much actually. Um, I'm that person that sits there with a Q-tip in my ear like this and that look on my face. You know the look I'm talking about and I'll sit there way too long. Um, yeah, so I'm that person who needs more Q-tips, <laughs> Alexis. I met Steph Taylor on her Amazon grocery stream on Periscope, ah, yay, all those little candy sticks are pretty, yes. Oh my God, I'll never forget when I worked in a school and teacher got the kids to decorate them and put them on a Christmas tree. Gemma, no way, that's funny, Oh, I mean, we don't need to be uncomfortable talking, they're a thing, um, let's see, Gemma, okay. And then travel size tweezers, recommended for, you know, just getting little stray hairs that end up magically appearing. I also keep these permanently, another pair in my car, because for whatever reason, I always discover the ones that I'm like driving and then, oh, they're just really nice to have in the car too. Eargasm, yes, yeah, yeah. This is the best item in this whole bag. This is dry shampoo. This is your best friend. Guys, gals, everybody. This will buy you a couple of days, especially when you're on the road and 
you're in humid humid environments this is great because it um, it just adds um, volume to your hair uh, and it takes out the oil so it's just like it's like a powder spray um, I take tub disposable flip-flops for the shower yes absolutely because there's so many germs on the um, shower floor and the hotel floor too seriously she hadn't got a clue what they were <laughs> no way oh my gosh that's funny me too Alexis I always fall asleep in the barber I love that um disposable flip oh I already read that it's dry yes dry shampoo the best so this also saves you money because you don't have to use as much shampoo you also conserve water because you don't need to use as much water um I'm perfectly fine with just a quick like obviously shower every day if you have the ability to do that um, but you don't necessarily have to wash your hair every day and it's actually bad for your hair if you wash your hair every day this buys you a couple of days maybe three if you want to stretch it and like the day three you have it up in a ponytail or something um, just make sure you're not like needing to be close to anyone um, but it'll save your hair too how about perfume? I don't usually wear a lot of perfume. Perfume actually gives me migraines. Um, if I wear perfume, what I like to wear is, um, there's this one by Victoria's Secret that does not give me a migraine. What is it called? I can't remember. I think it's called Teas. I hate the name, but it smells really good. I only take Head and Shoulders too. Um, I don't think you can tag uh, dry shampoo. I'm lost on that one, but I don't use shampoo. Yeah, dry shampoo is good. So all it is essentially is just powder um, and it lifts. So like um, if my hair were greasy and oily, it would be weighed down like this. And I you spray it and then run your fingers through it and it just gives it volume and it, um, it takes the grease and oil out. It's amazing. It's magic. Um, yes, teas. Is yes it's good stuff okay oh I forgot to show this in my last one it's chapstick I always have to have chapstick especially because um, when you're on the plane it's really dry uh, and depending on where you're traveling to this this is a lifesaver too that too I think that's all oh no I lied and this isn't for everybody this is just what my dermatologist prescribed to me it's um, it's Obagi new derm it's a skin lightener it's for when you have you know um, acne scars or age spots or sunspots it's just really good to for blending um so there's that i think that's it for that compartment i'm gonna pick up dry shampoo awesome good deal i'm going to the black room what's the black room uh oh do i have one <laughs> uh what all can you do on youtube this is my first youtube live oh what all can you do on youtube <laughs> Well, um, traditionally post videos, but uh, live stream, uh, as far as I know, there's um, there's YouTube Red, there's um, a whole television side. Um, so yeah. Okay, so there's that. Next compartment. We're not gonna zoom too close on this one, but you've got your prescription medication, and then you've got what I, never leave home without and that's Motrin and obviously talk to your doctor first I'm not recommending a medication but um, have have an emergency kit like Motrin or whatever pain reliever works for you um, you don't want to be stuck in a situation where you can't have where you don't have access to a pharmacy um, also Pepto-Bismol is in here too uh, for stomach aches what else this is where I usually keep my vitamins. Um, since I'm not traveling anywhere right now, I don't have anything in them. But when I do, um, vitamins go in here. Let's see. Why did that make you laugh? You just threw it. <laughs> I like making you laugh. Um, this is a disposable razor cartridge to go with my fab. My fab. And then, shampoo? No, no, that is not shampoo. That is not, that is um, hairspray. <laughs> I looked directly at it and I said shampoo too. This is hairspray, it's just Pantene. And you can get um, all these travel sizes that are TSA friendly 
at your dr local drugstore in the travel section. I like spending a lot of time over there. Travel size deodorant. It's so cute. Yeah, where's the nausea kit for the, the motion? All right, I'm getting there. Um, actually, I don't have nausea. Um, you know what's really good for nausea is ginger. If you can find like bits of ginger to take with you if you get motion sickness, that's what I would recommend before any Dramamine. But if you need something extreme and if natural doesn't work on you, then I would do the Dramamine, Dramamine route and plan for a sleepy sleep. Okay, moving on. This I got at Ulta. This is a face washer and this is designed to replace a Clarisonic. It's got little fuzzy um, silicon brush head things, bristles. That's They're not brush head things, they're bristles. Um, but it's battery powered and you just tap it and then it gets all the makeup off your face. Um, it's waterproof and it comes in a nice little case. And I like it. It's made by Foreo. And I might actually leave the link in the description here if you're interested in purchasing it. Um, but I like it because it doesn't take up as much space as the Clarisonic. Um, and then I don't risk breaking my Clarisonic when I'm on the road. I guess I need to change my name on here because every time I type TB it highlights it. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Um, thanks for being here, you guys. This is much better than last week. <laughs> Brush head things. Very accurate description. Yes. 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 Okay. Eye drops. These are great for people like me who have major allergies. And when you're, when you're traveling, you might not necessarily be um, accustomed to the pollen that's in the air there. Um, case in point, I just got back from Tahoe. Tahoe, I suffered from two migraines. Two nights in a row I had a migraine. Um, not that this would help that, but this would have been nice to have um, when I was in Tahoe. Tahoe was blanketed with pine pollen. It was really bad. Um, and so because of that, I bring my rel packs wherever I go with me. I always have an emergency um, few of them with me. I ended up having to take two of them on the trip, which sucks. Um, why'd you say yas? Yas. <laughs> So this isn't the first YouTube live you've done. No TV. I And actually make sure that you're subscribed and that the bell down there is hit so that um, you'll get a notification whenever I go live on here. I usually do a pretty good job of going live on Periscope first. Um, so if you follow me over there, um, usually I'll hang out first for like 20-30 minutes and then we'll go live here on YouTube. On the YouTubes. Subscribe to her YouTube. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, and guys, while you're here, if you haven't checked out any of the videos, um, I tried to organize my channel in such a way that it shows vlogs first instead of just all the live streams. Um, so feel free and play around on some of those. Um, I'm really proud of what I do. I, I use a lot of my um, the editing skills that I learned when I was in the news uh, industry and have applied them here. I'm just now starting to get um, much better at drone cinematography. Uh, so I'm really excited to share that with you. And hi, Danny. Good to see you. Oops, I mean gouge. Danny, Danny, would you like to be a moderator? Let's do this. Danny, open mod. Congratulations, Danny. You are now a moderator. Subscribe to Steph. It's totally worth it. Yay, super pro. Thank you. Okay. Um, so moving forward, this is a hairnet that I got for free at the um, hotel. This is another freebie. Take the freebies that are for you. Um, I would even go as far as to saying take the coffee if you're not even if you're not drinking it there, take it with you. It's yours. You did pay for it. Those costs are absorbed into the room price that you paid with your money. And when you're on a budget like I am, it's important. Um, I think I follow you on here. I think you do. Subscribe to Step Tilly with Ah, yeah, I read that already. Shoot. Subscribe to her Patreon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Patreon, too. I am on Patreon, you guys. I just started it up. Um, if you go to patreon.com slash Steph Taylor Live, Taylor is spelled with an E. It's an SEO nightmare, but it's T-A-Y-L-E-R, Steph Taylor Live. Um, I've been working really hard doing all the things. I, I hand fill out postcards on the places that I travel to, um, from the places I travel to, um, and I send those out to certain tiers. 
Um, there's exclusive hangouts on Periscope. Um, there's just all sorts of different levels of benefits. Some of the higher benefits are a, a voiceover for your outgoing message in an accent. Um, there's some fun stuff. You should check it out. Um, can we take pillow? Take the pillows. You cannot take the pillows. No. Or the robe. Take the chocolates. Absolutely take the chocolates. If you don't take the chocolates, I question. I, qu I question you. I question you. You can't tag on here. Just use at follow username. Yes. Yes, Tracy. Thank you. Um, Steph, can I moderate the moderators? Uh oh, low power mode. Low power mode. No. It's an emergency. If we were doing this from the computer, it wouldn't be doing this, but we wanted to be mobile. There. there we go. I got you. You guys still there? Are we alive? Um, can I moderate the moderators? Cause that would be fun. No, you cannot. You cannot. You don't. Um, I've, I've hand selected my moderators. Um, Alexis, please leave the sinks. CEO. <laughs> search engine optimization. I finally looked that up. Yes. Can we take the bed? You guys, I'm going to just say Steph Taylor said I said I could. Blame me. It's okay. Get the get to the charger. Yes, get to the charger. We did. Haven't you learned from Eunice? Plug in all the things. I know you can't take the robe. No, you can't. Is it laggy? Must be because I just plugged you in. You just tweeted something. I did. What did I tweet? Oh, you know what? It's the automatic ifttt. Ifffft. I have teeth, but you know what I'm talking about. Um, maybe you don't, but it's, it's whenever you post something on one platform, it automatically posts it on the other things. That's what that is. Um, hair tie. Also great for tying together cords and, um, you know, ear, ear phone cords, stuff like that, power cords, phone chargers. Um, this is... For anyone who wears a bra, this thing is great. So because it's summertime, um, many of us who wear tank tops and bras have that problem where we're wearing a racer back tank top but have a non-racer back bra. This is the fix for that and I can demonstrate. Not by removing my clothes. We'll keep those on but I can show you just by simulating that this is a bra strap. You like this? and push this in and then this would you know go that would, that's what it looks like so it's designed to take those in to make your bra a um, racer back but I like this I actually keep one of these on my key rings with my house keys and my car keys because you never know when you're gonna need a thing I don't know it's it's probably useful for something else um, missed some comments it lagged for a second are we okay now are we laggy you guys Kiff, negative, give me adrenaline, but high. Yeah, adrenaline. I knew, I knew. I'm a slow learner, slow down again, please. I'm not even an A, <laughs> not you guys. Yes, so that's, that's for, for anyone who wears a bra. Um, so even if you're not sick before you leave for traveling, I highly recommend bringing Day DayQuil with you because you never know when you're going to get sick. It would suck if you got sick on the plane, which is highly likely because there's all kinds of germs on circulate, recirculated air that you're sharing with everybody. And especially if it's an international flight, um, it's just much harder to, uh, to worry about purchasing medication in another country. Um, and then you're, you're increasing your chances also on international flights too, just because of the number of people on the plane. So always prepare and bring your medicine. Speaking of medicine, here's some more. I've got antacids, um, which are great to have. Um, I have allergy medicine, Claritin and Benadryl. Um, but most importantly, and I had this conversation just recently, um, gas tabs. Pop a gas tab, talk to your doctor first, but what I do is I'll pop a gas tab before we take off because of the pressurization and the air bubbles that collect in your system. Um, 
we get gassy in flight and especially if it's a long flight it's actually really dangerous if you hold the gas in you're not gonna make any friends but if you don't have gas tabs you you can't hold that in it has to come out so either go to the latrine or the lavatory is it lavatory military calls it a latrine civilians call it a lavatory bathroom whatever washroom restroom no one takes a bath in there I get it um, water closet whatever uh, if you pay for the robe you can take the robe right and some hotels will allow that for sure all right I'm behind Hillard hello I took the robe from the princess hotel in Scottsdale it was brand new awesome well did, did they charge you for it um, Seth Taylor is advanced in the tech world I don't know I learn from the best I learn from the best let's see uh, seems okay now okay good um, no, we're good. Good, good. Second best invention next to a beer bottle opener. I, I wish I would have seen which one you were talking about. Um, 20%. You're great. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Can we not talk about that? I just got goosebumps. Oh, no. I actually took the hotel key card once. That's okay. Um, actually, a lot of people recommend that you destroy those after because a lot of your personal information is sometimes stored on your hotel key card. So you can take those. They do recycle them, but my personal recommendation is take that and destroy it. <clears throat> Always bring an epinephrine pen when peanut particles fly through vent. Is that, is that nuts? <laughs> um, anyway, let's see. If you pay, oh yeah, I read that. Does the wrench tool next to our names mean we're moderators? Yes, Danny. Sorry, I didn't clarify. You are a moderator. Um, I take Ambien. I love Ambien. But it, I feel like um, for me, what else? There was something I was taking for a while that I liked better. Um, I tried Ambien and I tried Lunesta. Lunesta actually helped me sleep with, and then I didn't have the hangover. Um, Ambien with me, I noticed a little bit of like a hangover, like foggy feeling afterwards, but it definitely gets the job done if you're, um, and is great. The military actually prescribes, um, or they used to anyway, um, they would give us, um, just one or two Ambien pills to, to go to, to fly over to fly overseas um, Just so that we could program ourselves and get onto a schedule used to keep hotel cards for souvenirs. Awesome No lab. We're good. Good. Good um, Do wrench means you're certified YouTube mechanic. Yes <laughs> Just travel with the basics. I'm doing it wrong um, Where do I get those? Where do you get what? Um, Alexis Let's see I want to be a certified mechanic too. All right, start fixing videos. Gotta go. All right, David, thanks for being here. Thank you so much for being here. You added to the positivity tonight, and I really appreciated you hanging out. Um, have a good night. I turned old key cards into guitar picks. I don't have a guitar. Nice. Um, and you could sell them. That's recycling. It's so freaking cool. I've loved, I've learned something new today. Thank you, Steph. Yes, Super Fro, of course, happy to help. If you guys, you know, whatever you wanna take away from this, um, even if it's just to hang out, um, if it's nothing here that you can use, that's use, you know, useful, that you can use that's useful, that's repetitively redundant, isn't it? In it. Um, then at least we got to hang out. A guitar, but I can't play. I have a guitar too, and I can kind of play. Um, those gas thingies, oh, right, right, right. Yep, yep. Turn old uh, hotel key cards into new, new ones. I'm gonna ask you permission, can I post your travel vlogs on my Facebook page? Yes, please. Share those everywhere if you can. Um, share my videos, as long as I get proper credit and they're not used without you know, my logo and my, uh, I mean just, yeah, share the link. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you, I appreciate the, the help. Um, I think we're done here. Um, again, I, I promised that I was going to leave the link in the description below. If you're interested in this bag and want to help me out actually on my affiliate links, um, I just got hate mail from Amazon. It's like, you don't use your affiliate links enough and we're going to close your account in 90 days if three purchases aren't made. So I'll leave a link below if you're interested in this. Um, if you wanna purchase any of the other products that I review, um, there's a ton of products travel products that um, are also, that I also have affiliate links to on my um, packing tips video. And um, I think that one has, yeah, 
that's got a lot of uh, stuff. But usually I'm, I'm trying to be better about um, providing it affiliate links. Um, but I get, a, you know, small kickback from that um, if you use that link specifically. And then I get to keep my account because God forbid they shut that down. Um, what kind of guitar? This is, I'm not playing. This is a, I'll show you. Tecamine. Tecamine? Tecamine? I got this um, on a Black Friday in 2010, I think. Yeah. Yep, yep. G series. But I, um, I learned on a Fender Strat um, that my mom bought me when I was 13 years old. I don't know where that is. I think that's still at my parents' house. Facebook page with 191,000 fans. Hillard, post my stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Linda, Linda, I asked where I could get the gas thingies. Oh, the gas thingies. Gas X, um, you can find as just at, um, your local drugstore and it's over the counter too. It, you don't have to have a prescription. Um, let's see. I know Hillard's a baller on Facebook. That's awesome. Uh, you need to travel blow up buddy doll for affiliate sale or maybe I do. <laughs> Tacamine. Thank you. Um, it's happening. Oh my God, oh my God. Facebook page is called Posh Little People. Very cool. Six string, yes, six string. It is acoustic. I'm not gonna play, no. Mm -mm. No, I have to practice some more. I just haven't dedicated enough time to it. There's a couple of songs I know how to play, but um, before I'm comfortable live streaming, I have to be comfortable maybe to a select few in a group. I don't know. We'll see. I like hanging out too. Thanks, Mark. Thanks for being here. This is my bedroom. Coming to you from Bellevue. Do I remember you from Periscope? Aiden, yes I do. Hi, good to see you here. Um, you will play, you guy? No, I maybe, not now. Darn, I want to tap the screen for hearts. Thanks a lot, Periscope. <laughs> Here's some YouTube hearts. Thank you, Super Pro. I appreciate the sentiment. I know all of my Periscopers that come over here are like, I couldn't tap hearts to you. Um, but just know that I feel the love and, and definitely appreciate you pronounce tac tacamini tacamini oh really tacamini sing come away come away with me in the night i love that song Nora jones oh, i love that song um we won't judge i know you won't um oh my god you actually yeah um i can tell yeah i actually do aiden i can picture your picture on periscope too you were just there we were, i was just talking to you just recently, right? You were in my scope earlier. I remember some some people, if you leave an impression, yes. Yes, and if not, then let's hang out more so that we can actually, you know, so I can remember everyone. Um, I can tell, I can't tell if you got short eyelashes or small. These are the small ones, I just did a makeup trick. And if I go closely, you can kind of see that they're not really there. But my natural lashes are pretty long. Um, and you can tell when I'm wearing mascara. Um, this is my bedroom. That sounded cool. Yeah, and this is my bedroom. Uh, but tomorrow I'm getting my uh, lash extensions put it, put back on. Are you still a natural? Yes, I am. This is Big T's. What the even heck? I'm unsubscribing. Oh no, don't, don't. Above and beyond, cold feet. Love that song. Yes, just don't mention cold feet at a wedding, right? You hacked your sockets. Yeah, what happened was, um, you know, back to the whole eye allergy thing. I feel like since we're done, I can actually bring this closer. Um, because of the whole eye allergy thing, my one of my lids, um, I've, I've had false eyelashes on for a year. Not the kind that you buy and stick on, but the kind that they have to use a special adhesive on individual strands. You actually go in, it's an entire, like, hour-long procedure some people are like that's ridiculous but um, but I like it I like having it done because for me it completes my look and it allows me to get away with not having to wear as much makeup and I just feel better with them um, as soon as I had them removed I kind of freaked out and I was like what what is my face even um, but I I just I think they give an extra boost um, in my confidence level um, but I had a, a major allergy issue recently with my left eye and it kept flaring up um, and the lid actually got so swollen that it expanded. It was all red and then um, 
once it um, went down, it just it got like flaky. It went through this weird allergic reaction, so I just had to give my eyes a break. Um, and so I spent the last three days wearing no makeup, um, and I had all of my lashes removed professionally. Don't ever try to do that yourself. You'll end up taking off your actual eyelashes. Um, not healthy sockets, not that one, no. That one had issues. Um, let's see. Oh, you're uh, TH from South Carolina. Okay, awesome. Okay, that helps me put a face to, or a, a username. Guys, if you're in here and I'm like, it seems like I'm not really putting the two and two together, let me know what your Periscope handle is because then we can connect the dots and then, then I know who you are. You hacked your sockets, yeah. Alright, I watched a video of how they put those lashes on yesterday. It's interesting. Um, I actually get great satisfaction watching someone else have theirs removed. I'm kind of weird like that. Like, they rub the solution on and then they wipe the lashes off. It's just really, it's one of those, like, feel-good things. I don't know. Um, and then, oh, the other thing is you can't rub your eyes when you have them on. And I, I'm a huge eye rubber. I always have been. It's just like the eargasm thing. It's an eyegasm. Um, so once I had mine removed, I spent like an hour just rubbing my eyes. It's not good for your eyes, by the way. Uh, if you do it too much, your eyes will get um, wrinkles that don't need to be there. So just FYI. Um, so maybe having lashes helps me prevent that from happening. Um, what is my face even? <laughs> oh, um, Left eye is the other one. This is actually my left eye. Um, and it might be flip-flopped on the screen here. You're literally a potato. You always look, no you're not, look on perfect shape. Did you hit the gym a lot? Oh, thanks Rays. Um, I like to do hot yoga. Um, and I'm, I'm kind of on the fence as to whether I need to keep going. I love it because it's more than just a physical workout for me. It's also very spiritual. I cry sometimes in hot yoga. Um, and I'm to the point where I'm wondering if I should continue paying the mem mem monthly membership fee. Um, I don't know. I'm going to keep it and just see like how, how the next few months go, but it, it definitely does the trick. And I only go like a couple of times a week or I try to anyway. All step secrets have been revealed. Yeah, that's my job to show you guys the things. Step homies, Ragnar. Hi, good to see you. She ignored me. She ignores me, guys. I did not. Uh oh, message retracted. Why? I didn't see what you said, Juan. Uh, become a troubadour travel with the guitar. Oh, a troubadour. Troubadour. Um, you hear an echo? Interesting. Looks so beautiful with no lash extensions. You're a queen. Oh, thanks, Ragnar. What's hot yoga? It's um, it's just it's yoga in um a studio that's cranked to between um. I don't know the exact temperature, but it's really hot. Sometimes I think it can get up to well over 100 degrees in there. 100 and, I don't know, between 90 and 120, I want to say, for the really hot yoga. Um, it's just better for your, um, it helps you sweat more. It's, it's great for cleansing, you know, and for getting out toxins. It also helps you with your flexibility you're able to push yourself to further limits. Um, pa sorry, you, you're able to pu push your push past your limits um, when you do hot yoga. But I like it. Um, it's a really good workout, and that's where I see the quickest results. Going to ignore Alexis starting now. Oh no. Um, yeah, it is like a sauna. It's like working out in a sauna. Can someone please follow Alexis on Twitter? Oh no. You're different. <laughs> oh no, Danny. Grandma already thinks I'm talking to myself. Oh no. <laughs> um, I'm catching up here. Let's see. Uh, almost, almost bored, bored out. What do you mean? You don't practice your military workout regimen? No. Now, if I so, um, what I like about the yoga is it's also great for. So there's, there is resistance in training a little bit in yoga too. Um, but no, I don't, I don't do any of like CrossFit or I, I used to do running actually a lot, but, um, 
I don't know. I just prefer hot yoga because for me, it's um, more enjoyable of a workout than um, CrossFit. Um, and to me, I, I can connect spiritually too with it. So um, it's good. Joer, hi. Let's see. Helps you detox. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, it could go back to like military style um, physical training, but um, I feel like it's also intense on my joints um, where yoga is more, um, it promotes flexibility and um, I don't know. I just, I feel like I get more out of it. Um, I have to check out hot yoga for my stress and I don't have to have special shoes for it. I can be barefoot. Tried yoga once when chunky. You were chunky? That was hot enough. Yeah. Hot yoga, yes. Let's see. Do you feel more fit with your current workout? I do actually. Gotta go to bed. Okay, thanks adrenaline. Thanks for being here. Best wishes. See you next time. Awesome. So awesome you could make it here. Have a good night. You would think the action of your mouth moving would be considered an exercise. You would. Um, and actually, you know, this, there's this thing I heard, we're going to lower you for use, use guys. Um, there is, there is a thing, um, I heard recently that there is this thing called face yoga. I haven't explored it, but apparently you can exercise the muscles in your face in order to promote like a, a more youthful look. And don't quote me on this. It's just something that I heard. I don't remember the source, but it's actually, I think that's actually a thing. So there's different expressions that you can use to like work out <laughs> your, mu your face muscles. Um, so interesting is guys, you, is there any yoga that is a cardio workout? Um, there is power vinyasa and I feel, I do feel like, um, oh my gosh. I just, sorry, I just, wow, awesome. Okay, I just got a really exciting message, uh, quoting you, quoting, yeah, you can go ahead and quote me, whatever. I mean, it's out on the internet now forever, but yeah, it's actually a thing, the muscles in your face, um, they're muscles and you can work them out. It would just be funny, it's like, what's your workout regimen? I'm doing it right now. <laughs> um, what is she posting? I didn't even look, wait. Who's posting what? If I did that, I would, it would literally turn into a baby. <laughs> yeah, because you already have a baby face. Um, keep it. I tried the face yoga one morning waiting in traffic car next to me. Thought I was having <laughs> No, I think you accidentally were doing it because you were making faces at the person who cut you off. Juan, let's be real. That's what it was. Oh, and by the way, this this is a muscle too. And, and you should probably... No, I'm just kidding. Um... <laughs> Yeah, well, thank you. So cardio, so power vinyasa, thank you for keeping me on track. Um, squirrels everywhere. I feel like um, if you were going to approach hot yoga from a cardio perspective, I would recommend something that's called power vinyasa. And you go through the flows, you go through the different postures quickly. And so you are building, I don't know what just happened with my mouth. Um, you are building up, um, you're getting your heart rate really high. Um, so absolutely there's cardio. It's just not the kind that you would think of like standing, running in place or circuit training or anything like that, but it's, it's a workout for sure. No, I'm going to sell it. <laughs> I got bored. Oh, out by a fly or something. I gotcha. Gotcha. My kids make me a face yoga master <laughs> and then RD with the emojis. <laughs> I love you guys. Um, finger yoga. Yes. I know there's there's like yoga for all of the muscles probably. I dropped drop to find finger yoga. Yeah. All right, you guys. Um, it's been fun hanging out. I think um, this is complete 180 out from last week. Um, so thank you for being pleasant and positive and for playing. It's nice to have um, good you know good mature adult conversations without having to defend what I'm doing or not that I have to or I don't know it's just it, like and I realize the longer that I'm on this platform um, trouble will come but it just makes us stronger and and I've already learned so much from um, everything that happened last week love chilling with you guys too thanks race this is the sad part brace yourself mates ah mature meaning like 
you know, we're, we are, we are, the way that we use our words is in a mature way, not an immature way. I don't mean mature like we're, you know, in our 70s and 80s. I mean mature, like, like, um, that's the other thing is people like, oh, you look mature. So I look mature. <laughs> this is the hard part. Oh, you guys. Great group in here for your STL. Yeah, have a great evening. Good luck with the lashes tomorrow. Thanks. I know. I was thinking about... Nah, I'm not going to. I was, I was like, do I broadcast that? I don't think so. We love you. To the moon and back. Ah, not poopy. <laughs> not easy being a troll night. Yes. Yeah, not poopy. Um, I just enjoy seeing you smile. That's all. Thank you. It was not anymore. And I'm going to say good night. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to try, um, hopefully, to live stream within the next um, couple of days. Uh, so just make sure, buffering, thank you. Make sure, are we better now? It was like, uppercut, left hook. Buenas noches. Hasta luego. So, okay, it's good now. Okay. So I'm a couple days probably, um, I'm definitely feeling a lot more comfortable, so it's not going to be as much of a chore for me to push the go live button next time. Um, th thanks to you guys. So thank you for that. No, you say that. No, you hang up. Good night. Nice seeing you guys. Kung Fu broadcast, right? Um, okay. Somebody take her internet, right? Bye you guys. It's been fun. And I'm going to be on Periscope every day. So, or usually every day. Um, so if you want to hang out on a daily basis, go follow me over on Periscope. Um, the link is actually in several of the vlogs that I post, but I should start leaving a link, um, on the, so I'll, I'll do that. So I owe you guys a link for the e-bags and for the face washer tool and for my Periscope if you'd like to follow me over there. So cheers. Bye guys. I'm not kicking you guys out. See you guys later. Bye. Ciao.